Hi everyone, I'm uh, going to do a quick video on uh, these pathetic buds I grew for Christmas that got blight. Someone asked if I keep them updated because they uh, lock the tops off theirs and we want to know how mine got. I had to lock the tops off mine and played with blight for a good few weeks. The tops have been off them now for about a fortnight I think. So I've had a couple uh, pots I've emptied. I've, I've eaten them, there have been some small ones on them but uh, it's not been the best, so uh, I'll just empty two pots out here with the camera. You've got to remember what varieties uh, these are. It's the one with the sticking, so you can just put them down. Like you've got to plant them in no variety. There's only one of the best for Yuki or for Maris Pier. I think these are Maris Piers. So, let's have a look. Not a lot there. Did a few small ones like that. A bit, uh, a bit pathetic. Well, start for a little quick meal, I suppose. It tastes alright, would you there? Just a shame. A few more weeks. Would have been alright. Not to worry. Can't win them all. So, that's what light does to you. See, so uh, get your spots in early in the year on the ground. Try and beat the blight. Um, all this stuff will end up going on my raised beds a lot of them. So yeah, I'll have to have a right good check through it all, make sure we've got all the spots out there. Once the frost thing at it a bit, we've had the first couple of frost now. Most of that size been green. Right. Yeah, there's some pots have been better than others. They have a clump of roots on them. There's a few more on this one. Yeah, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Out especially, but I wasn't going to bother doing the video on these because uh, nothing really worthwhile. But you know, somebody asked, to put it on. So, uh, one of them failures, but at least I've got some food out of it. Or some people that did it and then got hit with light straight away. But, uh, you can only you know, say you're best off covering them up. You're going to put them outside for a bit. So you pull it all out to some greenhouse and uh, cover them over with a fleece or something. It's just got the blind spores getting at it. Well, stop the spores, but prevent them. Right. Smooth out and I'll put this pathetic crop. Now I'm going to cook them up, 
with the butter on them, it tastes really nice. Yeah, they're Maris Pears, I'm sure they are. Have a closer look. Let's take the camera off, bear with me, so my hands full of compost. Right. Oh. I mean, they're not bad size, you know, they're a nice like, salad sort of thing. Well, some of them are just just a shame. I mean, all that are two pots, they've gone full term. I'd have been quite, quite happy with the crop I'd have got off them, but that's what happens with blight. So, let's have a look what else I've been up to. Any old polytunnel first. I just shoved everything in here the other week when I pulled my spuds out. And with peppers, you know, jalapenos, some cayennes over there, more cayenne peppers here. There's a carrots, I've got another little greenhouse in here, a bit like a double glaze type thing, I suppose. Put my strawberry runners in there, some sweet peas, some collies for overwintering. A uh, little bed with some uh, endive, some Paris Island cos, just some brassicas, you know, some sprouts. And, what not, see what they do. That's a bucket of carrots. See how they go, I'll keep you posted on them. These these two pots here, it's just elephant garlic. I'm going to overwinter it in here, I think, and then put it out in the ground next year. Uh, that's about it in here. So look at temperature in here. Well, it got down to minus one last night, and the maximum was 18 degrees. But what is it actually now? 14 and a half degrees. Because I've got a lot of stuff in here, it'll hold the heat a bit better. The more stuff I can cram in here, the better. So, let's have a look at this other big job I've done. There you go. A big pile of blitzed up leaf. So, uh, I'm going to bag all that up now. There's all together, there's about 12 bags I've collected there. So, uh, run over it with mower. Chopped it up as uh, you know, it just helps it break down a bit quicker. There is another video on how I do this. Obviously, there's not that much grass clippings in it because uh, grass has slowed down. I didn't have the mower on its lowest setting either. Um, I've got a good pile of that there. This will be incorporated into my raised beds um, at the allotment. This and then a layer of compost on top, and then this can break down over the next year as it's being grown in. Keep the weeds out. Uh, so I've still got three more pots here, yeah, I think they're the Duke of Yorks. Up in the garden, not much going on really. Some brassicas, weeds and whatnot as well. Everything's sort of shut down now. Yeah, uh, new compost in there I'm starting off. That's stuff that I need to mound up and bag up, because it's nearly done that. So yeah, just a quick update, um, so I'll see you in the video, take care, see you now, bye.